Hey everyone and welcome back to A Bake Affair. Today we're going to be making classic southern cabbage soup. This is a favorite in my home and it's something that my mother always made for me growing up. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting up some sausage. This is the, I have a pack that I'm not going to use here. The Hillshire Farm smoked sausage and I have two of these but you don't have to use two you could just use one if you don't like as much meat and I'm going to set that aside and what you'll need for this recipe is two Hillshire Farm sausage two heads of cabbage I use two right now because these are so small so if you had one good size one you could just use that and then one large can of pinto beans. I like this brand, um, but you don't have to use this brand. This is one pound and 13 ounces of pinto beans. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut up the rest of the sausage and then we're going to take a big old soup pot and we're going to cook it. And you just want to cut the sausage in little coins like this. They don't have to be exactly this size, but just around that size because you want it all to cook evenly. And you want to make sure that after you took this out of the package that you've rinsed off the little juicy brine that it comes in. But this sausage is already pre-cooked, so you don't really have to worry about cooking it um, through. You just have to worry about browning it. And that's what we're going to do. And I've already prepped this and got this sausage ready as you can see and I've got the cabbage out here and I've already took the very outer leaves of the cabbage off that aren't really any good to eat at least for me and wash that off and I'll show you how to cut that up in a minute so let me get back to you after all of this is all cut up Okay, now we've got a pot over medium heat, and I've put some olive oil in the bottom of it, about a tablespoon, and I've let it heat up, and we're going to put our pieces of sausage that we've cut into little quarters, and we're going to take them and we're going to put them in the pan, and we're going to brown them up until they're um, nice and crispy on the outside, because... Like I said earlier, this sausage is already cooked through, so we're not trying to cook it again, really, but we're just trying to add some more flavor by crisping up the outside and bringing out and bringing out the fats in the sausage so that it will incorporate well into the soup. Okay, now that our sausage is browning in the pot on the stove, I'm going to show you how to cut up this cabbage. Now, some people it's hard to cut up cabbage, and I mean, it kind of is. It's not like super easy because the cabbage is so tough. But once you learn how to do it, it's not that bad. Okay, you're going to take your knife and you're going to go around this bottom edge and you're going to do it slanted inwards and because you want to get this core out because that's not going to cook and that's not going to be good. So just go around with your knife. And make sure you've taken out your outer cabbage leaves. Now you just want to try and pull on this to see if you've cut enough into it and at a good enough slant where it's lined up pretty evenly where you can just pop it out. Okay, I can't just pop it out. <laughs> so I'm going to go around again and try and cut a little farther in to see if I can 
get that out i think i got it see there you go ha ah, all done okay now you're just going to discard that piece and this is the knife that i like to use for this because it's smaller and i can make a circle with it easier but when you're cutting up to pieces just since you have that flat bottom now just sit it down i take this leaf off okay and you're just going to quarter it and just use any chef knife will work just lay these down and go right down the backbone well <laughs> not a backbone because <laughs> this is not an animal just uh this it's called a rib i believe of the cabbage just go right along that just to cut it in half again and this one is not really in the middle so just go in the middle and voila it's all done there might be a little bit of core still left so if there is just take it i'm not facing towards you whoops if there's a little bit left just take it and shave it off. And this looks okay. Okay, and then we're gonna cut these in twos. And I'm just gonna set them over here. Now you don't have to cut the cabbage up this small. You can leave it a bigger chunks. You can put up some of it this size and leave some of it bigger. It's really just depending upon how quick you want it to cook. The smaller the pieces, the quicker it's going to cook. But this next one, I'll probably leave some bigger pieces because I like the different sizes of the cabbage. Okay, now just push that to the side. Take this one. And cut around the center. I'm sorry if I'm not getting the best camera angles and stuff. I'm still working on this and trying to get better at it. Hopefully, with every video I do, we'll get a little bit better. Be a little easier for you guys to watch. Haha, -ha, that one I did right this time. And I just see a little bit of extra core right here, so I'm just going to take my knife real quick and pop it around and just pop it out like that okay and then I'm going to split this in two oops I forgot to turn it over that's why it was so hard because it wasn't stable okay you're going to cut this again I'm going to cut this piece, this, I have a little bit of the core right there, the very inside. Okay, and I'm going to keep these pieces bigger. Okay, and I'll be back when the sausage is all browned up. Okay, now you can see that the sausage is nice and browned on both sides. And your pan might get, uh, I mean your pot, might get a little black slash brown on the bottom. But it's okay because that's going to be deglazed when we have to put the water in for the soup. So it's just going to add to the flavor. It's not, it's not burnt. It's just the sausage sticking to the bottom of the pan it'll be okay though um and if you had any bacon grease 
that you want to get rid of you could always toss that in here too and that's just going to add more flavor to the cabbage and it's just going to taste better okay now what we're going to do since this sausage is all done cooking we're going to take the cabbage and we're going to put it in the pot now let me go grab that real quick Okay, I have all the cabbage here next to the pot and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of take it and just let it break apart how it naturally would into pieces in here. So just do that and you don't have to break it all up, you can just leave some bigger pieces together, it's fine. But just break it up so the water can get to it a little easier and cook it a little quicker. And I start sizzling because the cabbage has water, obviously, and all the grease down in the bottom of the pot from the sausage. So just be careful when you do this. If you have anybody standing next to you or anything, or you have a nice shirt on while you're cooking so it don't splatter on you. Break up this piece a little bit more. See, and you're gonna have a big old pot full of cabbage. Need some of these bigger pieces. This is a very hearty soup. It's very good for the cold winter months. And it's extremely cheap for how much it makes. And it'll last quite a while. And it just gets better every time you reheat it because the cabbage just soaks up more of the flavors of the sausage and the bacon grease if you put that in there. I don't have any bacon grease right now, but I cooked up my sausage in some olive oil, so that and the beans that we'll put in there in a moment. Okay, we're gonna take all that and just sorta of give it a quick stir on the bottom so none of your sausage burns or anything. Put cabbage on my hands. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna get a big, not pitcher, a measuring cup. <laughs> a big measuring cup of water, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is a four cup measure of water, and you're I'm not sure how much this is going to take because I usually don't measure it. Got quiet. <laughs> the lukewarm water stopped all the sizzling and the bubbling. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need some more water because you want the water to hit right at the top of the cabbage. That's when you know you have enough. Okay, right at 16 cups is about the top. It's right around the edges. And the cabbage will shrink, so by the time it shrinks, it'll be over the top of it completely. And this is gonna be your broth for your soup. Now, since I've got this done, I'm going to just push this down a little bit and turn up the heat on my range. I'm gonna turn it up to high until it starts to boil. And then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer with the lid on 
for a while. But first I have to add my beans. Ow! Watch out when you're opening your cans of beans if they have one of those pool tab lids because I almost just broke a nail and it hurt. <laughs> watch out for them because they splash as well okay now I rinse off the top of this so you don't get any dust like this part over here before you open it rinse all that off and wipe it off because these have been sitting on the shelves for Lord knows how long and they've got dust and tons of other stuff just sitting there so rinse always rinse off the top of your cans because when you're pouring it into the, your food you don't want it to accidentally go in there or go into your beans when you're opening it. You know, just pour your pinto beans on top. And you don't want to rinse your pinto beans off or anything like that. All the liquid that's in them is going to help flavor your cabbage soup. And like I said earlier, my mother's been making this recipe for as long as I can remember. Um, I know she got it from one of my father's co-workers. My father works on a dredge and one of his co-workers brought it because I believe his wife had made it and he told my mom about it and he got the recipe for it and she made it and we've been making it ever since at the house and it is so good and so filling and if you love cabbage like you will love this recipe my husband unfortunately doesn't like cabbage so I'm gonna have to try and find someone else to help me eat this whole bowl of cabbage with because right now we have no family around us so I'm going to have to go to the neighbors and pawn off some cabbage soup on them maybe. <laughs> but this is a ton of cabbage soup and I've never froze it before or anything like if I've made too much but I'm not sure if it would really freeze well because of the cabbage. I'm not sure if it would get too mushy once it was reheated, but if you don't really care if it's too mushy, because <laughs> I really don't care if the cabbage is mushy, you could probably do it. Oh, and all the ingredients and the measurements and everything for the recipe will be in the description box below. And if you have any other questions, you can always just ask me in a comment, and I'd be more than happy to help you or if you have any problems or anything. Okay, now since we've mixed the beans in there some, just sort of pushed it down and get it all kind of dispersed, turned it up to high. We're gonna sit our spoon off to the side. Take our nice clean pot lid, put it on top and let this come to a boil. And once it's come to a boil, we're going to take it and we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for probably about 30 to 45 minutes. Depending on how small you cut your cabbage and such, it'll depend uh, upon how fast it cooks. Okay, I'll be back when it's all cooked up and I'll plate a bowl and show y'all what it looks like. And here's the classic southern cabbage soup. All done and put in a bowl. You see the pieces of bean and yummy sausage and the large pieces of cabbage and this great broth that was made and it tastes so good and you want to add salt and pepper to your soup right at the end to taste or you can just leave it out and you can let everybody add salt and pepper to their liking in their own portion, their own bowl. And I hope you like this recipe and I hope you try it. And if you do, let me know down below how you liked it. And please like and subscribe to my channel. 
and thank you so much.